Hi, beautiful soul. Thank you for being here. Mostly in the moment with me. It's Digby and Moksha for another Love Picky Card reading. We're looking at their confessional feelings for you. So feelings that they have for you that they never really confessed or that they have a hard time talking to you about. And we're also looking at why. Why they never told you or why they have a hard time telling you. It's a very fun reading. You have three piles here. You may choose a pile based on the number, the image, or the crystal that resonates with you. Thank you so much for liking and writing comments. It means so much to me. Um, I, I appreciate it more than you know. And yeah, from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much for showing up <laughs> every reading, every week. I appreciate it. Um, I wouldn't be doing as many readings if if it wasn't resonating and if uh, if it wasn't connecting to so many beautiful, high vibrational, light filled souls as yourself. So I hope you enjoy the reading and I wish you much love and light. Hi, beautiful pile five one five with the rose quartz. We're gonna look at their confessional feelings for you and then we're gonna look right like side by side why they didn't tell you this or why they had a hard time telling you this okay i still don't have all the answers okay so something about they wanted to tell you why they left or why they couldn't move forward with you or why they ghosted you or why they loved you so much or why they chose you like whatever your situation with with your person like they wanted to be able to tell you like this is why and give you all like the bullet points but they they still couldn't figure out why so i feel like these these feelings were so complex for them they might have not thought about it so much because it made their head hurt i'm hearing but it's just something that like was beyond their comprehension they just could not figure out why like they might have like a reason like oh I like this about you I like that about you but they couldn't put like it all together I feel like they didn't have like it's more like feminine energy to be able to kind of like link make connections between thoughts and feelings better and I feel like this person had just more of a masculine like mind especially when it came, comes to emotions and they just could not put words to it so they might have been someone who was not able to really express their feelings a lot with you even just communicate simple things page of wands yeah so they did as much as they could but what you saw is like them at their capacity like them putting in as much like doing as much as they could doing as much as they understood. Okay. I am not blind to the signs. I do see them. So, like, it, <laughs> they're kind of saying, like, okay, like, well, I might not be able to communicate them, but, like, I know when, like, times when you loved me or when you wanted an answer from me, when you wanted something from me, like, I could see it. I can tell but I just didn't know how to give it to you. Okay. Queen of Wands. Yeah, they felt like they were the Page of Wands and you were the Queen of Wands. Like, you so effortlessly could speak about what you were thinking, your emotions, um, you know, things about the connection between the two of you, what you wanted, what you were looking for, like, so easily. And they're like, I can't, I can't do that. I can't do what you want me to do like I can't be you you know like I'm mesmerized by you I sometimes know that you want something from me um an answer an explanation or um kind of like how things are going or where thing where like plans for where things may be in the future why things didn't work out why things how they feel about you and they're just like I can't I can't be you 15 you make me want to do bad things 
I like the 1-5 because we have the 5-1-5 here. So you can tell that there's big changes happening in this connection. Whoever you're talking to right now or whoever this like pile is for, pile 5-1-5, like there's big changes happening in your connections right now. Right this second. Okay, so confessions from your person. I want to come in from the cold. They're like, I shouldn't be punished for not being you. I do the best that I can. And I'm being honest when I say I can't, I don't have all the answers. Like, they're like, despite telling you how I feel all the time or my thoughts on the connection or the future or, you know, if things didn't work out between the two of you, 515, like, I, like despite not being able to communicate why things didn't go so well between us or why I ghosted you whatever whatever the situation is they're like I just want you like I I you have to respect the fact that I did right by you like I did my responsibilities you know I stepped up and although I'm not a very like emotional person someone who like speaks their mind all the time or puts like words together flawlessly like you do doesn't mean like I didn't do right by you so like I shouldn't be like thrown out you know into the dark like let me into your heart like you know you're in mine um I just can't be the person you want me to be but like haven't I done right by you and if this is someone that like ghosted you or that you're no longer in communication with much they just want to say, like, like don't think badly of me. Like, don't spread rumors about me or, you know, wish bad things on me because, like, you have to know that I did the best I could in that time, you know. Um, I treated you respectfully. I feel like this person treated you right. Um, if they were someone that ghosted you or you're in little to no communication with, like they did right by you, they didn't treat you badly, they treated you with respect, even if it's for like a short time or even if, you know, things ended between the two of you. If you're in a relationship with this person, dating this person or in communication with this person and there's something going on romantically between the two of you, they're trying to ask that you don't reprimand them for not being you. Like, they're not going to be ever, they're not ever going to be the person that, like, can give you, like, warm romantic poems, you know, off the top of their head or, um, you know, tell you their thoughts about the connection or where things are going in life or where, where they want to see this relationship going. But they will you know, make dinner for you if you're really hungry. They'll take care of you when you're sick. They'll buy you gifts for your birthday and they'll they'll remember or they'll write you thoughtful notes and, you know, help you whenever you can. They're like, like you have to accept me for who I am and stop faulting me for it. Um, whoa. That got a little deep there. I didn't, I didn't know where that was going to go. Find your passion. They're like, I'm trying to, like, they're, they're trying to figure out another way that they can express their emotions to you. And so if they're really into art or music or um, built, like, making things, whatever, whatever it is, their, like, creative skill, they want to use that to kind of express their feelings to you because they can't do it with words so they they're using the language that they know which is through I'm about to cry I'm tr really trying really hard not to cry right now because this is so whoa they're because they know how much you want to hear it and they don't know how to do it except in their in their in an art form in the way that they're passionate their creative art form that they're passionate about whatever that is Dang, this person loves you. <laughs> this could be past, present, future situation. I'm getting a ton of people, so like it's different for different people, but take it how it resonates. 
I do the best I can. Okay. Um, you're so beautiful. I feel like they regret not telling you enough how beautiful you are, how, how good looking you are, how sexy you are. They're the, I feel like they're the kind of person that just kind of like, they'll say it, but they'll just kind of stare at you more, you know, and like, you, you know what they're thinking, you know what they're feeling, but like, they don't, they're not someone who says it as much, but you can tell just because like, they like stop when you walk into the room and they just kind of like look at you or smile or something like that, you know? <laughs> so they, they wish that they told you or they tell you more that how, you know, beautiful you are and how how you take their breath away there's no reason to fear so the reason um they don't tell you so much is because they're afraid they'll look less than like they, they fear they feel like if you if they keep telling you how beautiful you are you might like feel like you're too good for them and they'll you'll leave them or something like that sooner so they they don't tell you because first of all they, they're scared to tell you they're scared to tell you for some reason um how beautiful you look all the time I think because they um kind of have like a little bit of self-confidence issues they might have like they might have issues with the way they look so they want to be able to tell you more, but it makes them it makes them feel like if they tell you how much how good look looking you are, it also means that they're telling you that they don't look as good or something like that. Like if they take it that way, that you know how people's minds works. So it's out of fear that if they tell you so much how beautiful you are, they're also telling you that they don't deserve you, kind of thing, or they're telling themselves that. I'm afraid I made a mess of things. So yeah, because I'm getting like five on five on five on five on. That's a, that's a message that like big changes are happening in this connection right this second. So um, even if it's a person from your past, like you're developing and they're developing, so you might feel each other's energies, even if you're in little to no communication. Um, but for most of you, this is someone you're connecting with this moment that you're watching this reading. And they're letting you know. They're like, I think I did some things that might be hard to recover from in this connection. Um, it's like an oh shit moment I'm hearing. I don't like to swear on this channel, but this was like a very like clear like voice that I heard from their higher self it's like they they're like oh oh no out of not doing some of these things I might have had pile 515 leave me for good or something like that trust that all will be revealed I feel like your person 515 they're like they're they're trying so hard to fight for who they are. They're 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 looking for self preservation. I feel like this person had has has had like situations in the past, not just with romantic situations, but like friends and family where um, people wanted them to act in a certain way, and they're like and they finally feel like they kind of stood up for themselves. They're like, no, this is who I am. Don't try to change me. And then while sticking up for who they are, not trying to change because they finally got the fight of like, you know, they finally got the courage to be themselves. They're like, oh shoot, 515 is someone that I should be trying to better myself in. They're not, they're not trying to change me. They're trying to make me better. <gasps> Whoa. Oh my goodness. 515. What are you going to do? Because I feel like they're like, I need to see if Pile 515 will accept me for who I am. And you have been doing nothing but accepting them. Or you have been kind of leaning in that direction of like, okay, like, this is someone who can like, be good with me. 
and this is just who they are you are like kind of evolving yourself by accepting this person and their faults and their authentic self but in doing so they also kind of pushed you away because I feel like you're like aren't I worthy enough though to like kind of want to work on some of these things that I really really want in a relationship or a connection whether it's new or long term wow so they finally got like they're like oh like in time I will see if they actually love me for me or not and when they finally figure out that you do you're already gone or you're already threatening to leave or something like that i'm sorry that there's so much drama 515 for you right now but I, I you know here are the confessions do with it what you will i hope it helps you i hope all the, you know i wish you both all the best individually and mutually together okay um yeah if it resonates please leave a like or comment um uh, yeah, I'd really like to know if this is something that's going on with you. There is, like, around the time that I'm posting this um, reading, there are lots and lots of breakups happening because people are moving into a higher vibration. Um, so not just with, like, romantic love partners, even people that you get along with. Friendships, co-workers, all these things. So... I feel like you're kind of in that vibe. Maybe they are too. Who knows? Your story? No one knows. Find out. I'm getting two, three months. All right. Uh, yeah. I hope you have a beautiful rest of the day. I hope this works out for the best of all involved. And I wish you much love and light. Hi, beautiful pile 606 with the die offside. Let's look at their confessional feelings for you and then we're also looking at side by side like why they haven't told you or have a hard time telling you yeah nah okay so I feel like they have been kind of secretly going back and forth on you and they didn't want to tell you because they were just kind of in they were just kind of bored with themselves and their own life that you kind of made th like life interesting for them and this person kind of like likes to like maybe intentionally or unintentionally but like kind of keep things exciting for them like through you so you keep things exciting for them and so they're kind of like kind of kept you on the end of the rope just like pulling you along because because they didn't like who they were they didn't like their life and you gave them a spark of something I've been sending you messages in 5D Probably not the best messages if what's here is true. The wheel, okay. Or maybe good messages. <laughs> okay, I see what's going on here. Okay, so this is kind of like, this could be um, like a twin flame or a karmic. Or someone who, like, is in your life for the purpose of evolving your soul. But they're not going to be there for, like, a long-term commitment kind of thing. So, in the 5D, they're sending you Wheel of Fortune. All these beautiful things. Like, so you might be getting so many signs. Like, yeah, this person's the one. Like, oh, I saw those blue birds or blue butterflies or the yellow butterflies or the, you know, the ducks or the whatever. I saw those two hearts linked together or, you know, my sign for this is... Whatever. So you've been seeing all the signs. Like, oh, this is the, the one. This is the person. Like, they really love you. They really, they're thinking about you. Um... You know, you get songs that play that, like, remind you of them. And then they're so super positive or so so deep. 
um, and how they might feel for you, that you might see them in your dreams. You may get signed from their social media, oh, that they must be thinking about me. Um, and so you're getting all these positive signs from their higher self, from their 5D. And so you're like, okay, like this person must be my soulmate, my twin flame, my divine counterpart, or whatever, but they're your karmic. And they're here, to, or they're your kind of lo lower level soulmate that's here just to kind of give you lessons. Sorry to burst your bubble, 606, but I promise you if you just stay for the reading and this doesn't trigger you, if this, is, if this triggers you and it's too much for you to handle, you can definitely go to another reading that's more positive. Not everyone can handle too much truth at once, and I get that, um, but we keep it vibes high on this channel, so if this doesn't resonate, you can just click off. <laughs> you can just simply click off, you know? Um, but... If you stay, I promise it'll be worth your while. And it resonates. Okay, so don't make it fit. Yeah, if it resonates. So this person, they might seem like an awesome person. They have a good personality. You like hanging out with them. They're fun. They You find them really attractive. But when it comes to talking about the connection, the relationship, they're like, uh, I don't know. They might give you some answers that you want to hear sometimes, but they're trying not to be psychopathic about it. They'll probably like know that they are kind of leading you on sometimes and they feel bad about it. So they'll, they'll pull away a little bit, you know, so they're not trying to play with your heart purposely, but they do like your company. They just know that they're not serious about you long term. Okay. Wow card came flying out happiness is my priority yeah so right now they're not in a good place like they don't like themselves they don't like their life or they don't like something about their life and so you make them feel good about themselves you make them have fun you remind them about the good things in life and you know how lucky they are the good stuff that they already should be grateful for having and you just kind of brighten up their day you kind of brighten up their life right now so they are kind of using your energy to like keep happy a little bit but at the same time um you're getting a lot of happiness from their higher self because there needs to be an equal exchange of energy that's just the way this kind of works some there's some like rules to these things you know an exchange of energy so so their higher self is like on <laughs> like working overtime i'm getting giving you all these beautiful signs and stuff like that because this is one of one of those um connections where you work on <sighs> work on things you kind of you're kind of using them to work on things but you don't know that because you're the romantic you're the one staying with them you're the one who's hopeful okay so you're working on some like other things in other ways you might not be you might not be you might not think of it as like you're using them but you're your mind your heart your spirit is kind of using them in this opportunity that's why they came into your life to accelerate your growth somehow and they're doing the same they're they're stuck in a rut in their life and they're looking at you as an example someone who wants to grow and evolve and be a better person and do better you know be better at, at all the things that you're doing in life already and you're you're an inspiration so it's you're both helping each other probably not the way you want to hurt hear it but here let's move on to like the more happy thing. So I miss you. So I do, f I'm getting a confirmation that this is someone that you've met in a past life. So this might have been uh, a spouse you had in a past life. And it's kind of one of those spouses, like it might have been your husband, wife, or like best, like one of your good friends, best friends, or a sibling or something that you really liked. Um, that kind of agreed to come into this life with you 
uh, or at least meet in this life in order to help you learn the lessons that you signed up for. And so they miss you. They're like, yeah, you you know, I loved you being my husband or wife or my best friend or my brother or sister. And it was like really fun. And I just kind of want to, it was nice, like, you know, it's nice connecting on this plane, this physical plane again um, in, in, in a different way. So their soul was yearning for you. You guys do like each other on the other side. Um, you know, their higher self is literally being like another one of your spirit guides right now, like hardcore overworking, like over time here <laughs> in this connection right now. But um, they, they don't mind that because they signed up for that. They really like you on the side. You guys are really close. Um, but it is what it is, you know, listen to your heart. Yeah. So don't, you don't have to take my word for it. Like feel into your intuition, feel into your heart. Like who is this person to you? You know, do you feel like a past life connection? Do you feel that you're helping them and they're helping you in different ways? So both of you, because you have like a connection, like a soul connection like that, um, like 606 is kind of like a reminder to kind of, you know, maybe focus on like less material financial stuff right now and kind of focus on like love, light and happiness. So you're reminding them to focus on love and they're reminding you to focus on happiness. Um so I feel like you're you're kind of wanting to kind of move this connection forward, um, turn it into a relationship, or be more seriously committed. And they're not budging. <laughs> they're not budging. It's not funny. It's it's um, heartbreaking, right? Soul crushing. Um, but they're also telling, like, reminding you to like you know be ha be happy in the moment. Let's try to look for the fun things in life, enjoy each moment kind of thing. Um, and you're, you know, and you're kind of like, it's hard to stay happy when I don't know where this is going, what, you know, how this is going to unfold. Like, I need to know the future. I need to know that we're going to be okay financially, but, you know, I'm gonna. I need to know that like things are moving physically forward, kind of thing. So both of you are kind of reminding each other to kind of focus on love and happiness in different ways. I have trouble sharing myself. So they also are confessing that they don't want to really share like I feel like you're like I'm here for you I don't care what your past is about like who you are like I like you I want to like get to know you more or something like that or like you know what's going on with this issue what's going on with work like you know I'm here if you need to talk it seems like you're having a bad day but you're not really telling me what's happening so how am I supposed to help or um this is a new connection it's like yeah like they they might not be communicating with you as much and it's because they're not, they don't like their life right now. They don't like themselves right now. They don't like where they think their life is going. And no one likes to talk about themselves to the person um, they like um, about things they don't like about themselves or their life, you know? It's like, uh, like maybe here and there, but it's all that's on their mind and it's, not like fun to talk about like they're looking for fun they're looking for other things to do than dwell on like how unhappy they are because that's what they're thinking about like the whole rest of the time that they're not with you okay live from the place of light yeah they're having a hard time living like positively and optimistically right now um I feel like even if you're a really fun person and you enjoy hanging out with them, it, it kind of like, it's kind of like you had to force them to have fun. It kind of like puts the responsibility on you to like think of like things that would make them happy, things that they would like to do. Um, yeah. 
yeah and you're like trying to like help them with their issues kind of being like oh i like what what's, what seems to be the problem maybe i can like help you or find find help for you and they're like oh no like i don't want like that just makes things worse so it's kind of like a data and situation kind of or it feels like it at least and trying to be bold and brave they don't want to seem like this kind of like loser or something like you know they're like I feel like they are someone who is bold and brave usually but they're just kind of in like a rut like they're kind of in like a weird place um and it's kind of like if they weren't you two wouldn't be together um if you already had your lessons learned and they already had their lessons learned both of you would be happy and in love but obviously that's not what this connection is for but they're like you're worth being bold and brave for they want to show you their best self and i feel like you do too i feel like this goes both ways you're both trying to be like the best versions of yourselves to each other but like i think think the way to win in this connection and this lesson with the, to each other is just admit to each other where you are in your journey accept yourself for where you are accept the other person for where they are and just be like hey this is who I am right now this is where the connection is this is where I'd like to be this is the person I, I want to be this is the person I used to be this is the connection I used to have like see the progress or see the changes um just kind of accepting where you are and then being okay with it because I feel like both of you will be like okay maybe we found each other because we're both going through changes like we're both trying to be better and so what we want is not each other because if we found each other when we were like all perfect in our best self then this would be a connection that was healthy and that continues. But obviously, both of you found each other when you're still in transition phase. Oh, you're discovering a life purpose. This is not to not to knock this connection because this is a very like vital, imp I'm hearing, very important connection for the both of you to kind of level up in a major way in your life so this person is very important to you makes sense and you care a lot deeply about this person this person cares deeply about you um but the other day i feel like if both of you get to the place like i feel like both of you are trying so hard to be like pretend that this connection is different like in a, in a better place than it is pretending that both of you like thinking that you're individually like at the place that you want to be and it's just like after admitting that you might not be where you want to be exactly um in yourself in your own life and in this connection with each other like I feel like that's going to be winning this challenge winning this like lesson but it's like harder said than done because like you have to like say it and then like accept it fully <laughs> and then you will too will like not need each other because then you will become the best version of yourself or you know the next level version of yourself and so will they and if you two still like each other it's very rare but it happens sometimes if you two still like each other as these different people because you're going to be different because you're going to be leveled up then obviously the connection is going to level up as well but most likely both of you um will find people that kind of matches this new level that you're at which is good news <laughs> like no worries um i'm gonna pull a couple extra cards to be like how is this helping you out because this i mean not everyone wants to hear this but it's sometimes necessary I, I get unicorn use your intuition to make beneficial changes yeah Let's see listen to your heart use your intuition yeah you know you don't need me to tell you you're a very intuitive person very smart person yourself um you might have just needed a reminder from spirit and the star card wow guaranteed success 
So there you go. I feel like you will successfully um, face these this challenge and it will benefit you greatly. It'll change you in the way that you want to. It'll change your life in the way that you want to and it'll be both for the both but it'll be better for the both of you. I'm just gonna leave it at that, but I hope you have a beautiful rest of the day. And um, a like or a comment would be really nice if you resonated. I know if, if you have nothing nice to say, you know, this is a high vibe community. I protect my people, my high vibe folks. No one likes your nastiness. Although a lot of us have um, kind of already moved on to 5D where it's just kind of like when we see like negative comments, we're just watching you being like, wow, you're, you have a... You have a lot going on in your life, don't you? <laughs> but now I just kind of shoo the shoe flies away. I squat them. I kill them. I, I um, brush them. I yeah, brush them off. Move them away because um, before I try to gently move the flies away, but now I just don't care. <laughs> so you don't want to go head to head to head with someone. Um. A much higher vibe that you you won't win, trust me. All right, but to all my high vibe folks out there, pile six of six. This is a lesson in love and happiness. So if you're worried about finances, material things, and the connection moving forward in the physical, this is your wake up call. This is your reminder from a gentle reminder from spirit. Um, looks like you'll be successful. You already know it. This is just your fellow light worker reminding you. All right? Have a beautiful rest of the day. Much love and light. Hi, beautiful pile of 747. The cell site. Let's look at their feelings for you, their confessional feelings, and then right side by side, like why they haven't told you or why they have a difficult time telling you. I just wish things were different. Okay. Clarify, please, spirit. Two of Swords, okay. So I feel like this person has regrets with the decisions they made in regards to you and the connection between the two of you. I know more than you think. Okay, so there's something about you and this connection that... they were told or that they know that you don't know that they know okay clarify spirits like being this is very cryptic ten of cups <gasps> okay okay there's some big stuff happening in this pile okay with another seven here seven four seven okay so i feel like they knew that maybe they they knew that you were um maybe one of someone got pregnant from this connection or maybe that you went on to have a family after them or you're in another relationship right now that might be like a very long-term committed relationship very healthy very lovely or maybe one of you had a family on the side or a partner on the side or a kid that the other person was hiding family and like relationships are related of course there's a lot of people watching this pile so it's gonna be different for different folks but i'm getting that like yeah they they regret making a specific decision in this connection with the two of you um like they wish they took a completely different path with you and things and things were different Either, like, so they're still together with you, I'm hearing. So either um, have been honest and upfront with you before or they wish they took the opportunity with you when they had the chance or something like that. Um, they didn't, that they didn't cut off this connection or they didn't, you know, block you or disconnect from you, something like that. Because they know that you're happy now or something. Or... I need more clarification. 
This has been a very cryptic. Okay. I sometimes wonder if you still care. That came out face down in reverse, so. <sighs> like, they, they still, like, I'm getting very closed off energy. That's kind of why I'm having a hard time, like, reading their energy because they don't even, they don't want to talk. They don't want to talk about this. They don't want you to know. They don't even want me, the tarot card reader, to pick up on this energy. They're really, really good about keeping guard of this information, this emotion, and keeping it secret. But this person secretly really, really, really wished they made the right choices I'm hearing back then for us to still be together. Maybe they knew that the two of you were perfect together and would have had a very harmonious life together. Um, okay, let me pull some more cards because this is crazy. Let's look at more of the confessional feelings because like 747 is kind of like it's kind of like a congratulations from the universe like you're doing great like keep up the good work so I feel like they know that like you you did something like you're with someone that you're really happy with now or I don't know that your situation is really good or you you became the person that you always wanted to be or something like that and they're like I why did I say no to them why did I cut this connection off or this communication off like Like, why did I let them go? Something along those lines. So I feel like this is someone who, like, is from your past, might have blocked you or disconnected from you in some way. But the fact that this this energy is coming up now, this is someone that you, I'm getting, have had little to no communication with for a very long time. So it's really... It might be kind of crazy that their energy is coming up and that they're thinking of you in this way right now. Okay. So I loved you since before you knew. Yeah. So they, I think they knew like as soon as they met you, like this is someone I can be very happy with. Um, I'm going to pull an extra clarifier for like what went down because what, what is this? September popped up. Um, feeling tied down or frustrated so I feel like when you met this person they're like they kind of were fighting their ego and their old version of themselves or a younger version of themselves that didn't want to be tied down right away because they're like they met you and before before you even spoke your first words I'm hearing as soon as I my eyes caught yours I knew you were the one I knew I loved you immediately. Love at first sight for sure. And they freaked out because they didn't want to be locked down at that time. They didn't want to be locked down because other things in their life, like they may have, might have had other things going or waiting for in their life, career, financial situation, or... Um, they just didn't want to like settle down just yet or maybe they just got out of something and they wanted to wait some time. Maybe you were pushing for commitment and they didn't really want it. Maybe you rejected them and then they're just kind of like didn't feel so good around you after that. Their ego took a huge hit and they kind of like ignored you, kind of gave you too much space after that. Um talk of kids or family or something like that might have scared them off um i'm hearing scared off so they might have definitely like been scared off by maybe your personality how how much they liked you your your personality your looks your intellect your like perspective on life or something what you do for work your aspirations your dreams you were the perfect person but they didn't like themselves enough to accept you or something maybe they were scared at what other people might think of them what society with their family friends might think of you or the connection or something like that or them might think of them for picking you at that time or something whatever it is they're like kicking themselves for being frustrated back then okay 
this ten of cups where they know about you honor respect will come to you and i feel like they always had this kind of like feeling like you are someone who is going to achieve your dreams maybe you already had when you met them but i've been just in a very like something that is unique or something that you know that maybe they didn't accept at first or maybe it's like their friends and family wouldn't accept at first or something like that um but they knew that you like you are a genuine soul you're i'm hearing very smart very pretty or very good looking and very um i'm getting um strength brave or something strength brave fearless i'm hearing and they knew you would like go far or something and i feel like they might know that you did or they might just have just found out or something like that that you have like gotten the life that you've always wanted or something okay and they're kicking themselves okay so this is kind of one of those moments where you know some some person rejects you and you knew that like you two were a good match but they you know weren't ready for this connection for one reason or another but not any really good reasons it's just kind of things that they needed to work on um fear shame regret um ego and even though they knew deep down like now you're here making it or something living a beautiful life and of course like you're gonna come across this person and they're or like even if you did don't like they somehow know that like you're with your with a really good partner now or having a really good life and the we you know have success in all your careers and all the things that you've pursued so they know something you're exactly when and where you're meant to be yeah um So they loved you before you knew and they never told you because that's just who they were at that time. They were scared what people would say. They were scared of what that meant about them, that they liked someone like you, whatever that means. Um, you reminded them of things that they still need to work on or that they were they didn't like about themselves or that they were scared of still or something and i'm getting a huge congrats from spirit that like you did it like here's this person that like was probably like a really high level soulmate and they said no to you because you did first or because of their ego or because of i don't know i'm hearing not a good reason but you know we all are growing and learning and we all have made some stupid mistakes but this is one that they remember and they're remembering it right now this moment while you're watching this reading someone you haven't spoken to for a long time or haven't really seen or catch up with or something like that but yeah exactly when and where you're meant to be so Spirit is like really proud of you for kind of going after your dreams and achieving them even though something this is like heartbreaking like when you meet a soulmate and then you um when it doesn't work out that way that's a really hard thing to like move past but and um move on from and it looks like you did and you got the ten of cups but they're still thinking about you I still care for you okay you're always on my mind yeah so i guess they do think about you a lot more than you think they will never admit it though i'm getting because their energy was so closed off that even me as a tarot card reader like a really ad experienced advanced tarot card reader like it was hard for me like their emotions were like fort knox here okay like it was like i was like, pulling and pulling and i'm like i'm gonna get get your energy <laughs> so like this person was 
so in denial over their feelings for you, so in denial of who you are to them, the connection that you two have, um, that they would never, 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 never let on that they think about you all the time. I'm getting, for some of you, like, they didn't. They kind of, like, knocked you out of their mind. They put you in the deep recesses of their mind in, like, old storage boxes in, like, the lowest basement of their mind. And something happened recently where that box was brought all the way up to the brain, front and center, opened up, and, like, literally put on like decorating the walls with like spotlights on them and cleaned and cared for and they are you're gonna probably get a lot of signs that they're thinking about you this person that you might even have forgotten about or don't even think about they have reopened their connection to you it's probably because you have moved on Funny how that works, right? So if you haven't had this like honor and respect and the Ten of Cups, like su success and all the things that emotionally fulfill you, this is a sign that you're getting there soon. Seek divine inspiration. Yeah, you are their divine inspiration. So you're going to see them drawing on your energy a lot now as an inspiration to like you know how to better themselves and how to uh do their inner work and stuff like that interesting and and they're also guided to kind of think about you because you are someone that would inspire them and help them along like they were for you okay I love you so much it hurts yeah some of you are like finally it's good to hear that <laughs> hear that admission um proof that you're not crazy and <laughs> like you know that it wasn't unrequited a little too late but maybe it worked out just exactly how it was supposed to why they didn't tell you this that they love you so much it hurts surrender I feel like they were they were like like had such a shield up I mean I feel they bought they built like a fortress around their heart their energies and it's not just to you it's to the divine because you are like a divine like counterpart kind of energy to them so like the fact that they like blocked you off is meaning that they they also blocked themselves off from the crown chakra um to their guides to god to the universe right um they also blocked themselves off from understanding that the world and that perspective in a spiritual way so i feel like they finally something something just kind of clicked and finally happened where they kind of like surrendered to the divine surrendered to their spiritual self and therefore surrendered to their love of you and that's going to be very useful to them now because they're going to use that to grow spiritually do something risky taking a chance okay so i feel like i feel like this is a situation where with a 13 here which is like the divine feminine number um they might take a huge shot in the dark risk um uh, because of you i'm not i'm not saying 100 percent for you they some of you might 
they might like reach out to you they might like want to talk to you they might go out on a limb it's like them kind of facing their their fears and completely surrendering to their higher self in the universe and to their feelings so they might just take a shot in the dark and kind of reach out to you but i feel like for most of them they're going to take a major risk in their life because of you because of your inspiration so i mean pile 747 take what resonates do with this information what you will it seems like you've already moved on and you're in a much happier place now and if not exactly the second then i'm guessing very 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 soon so um <laughs> this is kind of like okay well great thanks mia thanks for this information um i mean it's gonna do something for you i think it's gonna give you closure um it seems like you're in such a good place that you are like kind of in this ten of cups energy and so nothing else in the past really matters anymore. So I'm happy for you to finally get into that really beautiful Ten of Cups energy. Um, really heal divine feminine energies. You're very spiritually connected. You're very emotionally connected. So I'm guessing a lot of physical things are manifesting for you now or very soon. This next year is going to be very um, prosperous. You're going to see a lot of physical wealth and abundance come in for you and you're going to see that this person um they i feel like for a lot of you they are going to come like reach out kind of at least once in this like next like 13 months i'm hearing so like at least once in the next like year i know that's like a long time for people but like patience is one of the best virtues of spirituality it's how you manifest the biggest things um that's how you evolve the most. Um, all right, enough of <laughs> the spiritual chat. Um, if I could, I want to pull one more card. Just could. Cool. Yeah, community and past love interest, ex partner. So I feel like this person might just kind of want to join your community or your like want to be someone that like stays your acquaintance or wants to be involved in some of the things that you're interested in um kind of do some of the things that you've done that can help them get to where you are kind of thing um yeah so i hope you have a beautiful rest of the day a like or comment would be really appreciated um i wish all the best for you i mean Congratulations, you did it. Okay, so uh, lots of love and light.